Hello boys and girls, uh, welcome to Investing 301. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing a gym vest, as Nathan so eloquently put it in Investing 201, which if you haven't watched, uh, definitely go and watch it, because it's a prerequisite to watching this video. So, today specifically we're going to talk about money vests, because... Money vests are the best vests, and in my opinion, the only vest. Why? Because in the state of the current market, uh, how are you going to get a vest without spending money? Now you could argue, oh, that's, that's okay, I'll just make my own vest. Where are you going to get the materials? You're going to harvest it yourself? How are you going to get access to those resources? I'll tell you, you're going to need money. So, when you really think about it, this is, this is delving into the theoretical part of investing. All vests are money vests. So, let's look at, before we look at the, that theoretical part of it, let's look at just a literal money vest. Now, the popular line of thought is a money vest really isn't going to insulate too much. To this, I'd reply, depends. Is the vest made purely of only money? Because that might not insulate too well. But if the money is an exterior layer on top of something like cotton or polyester, then you're looking at a pretty warm vest that's also composed partially of money. Then you look at the different purposes for vests. Vests can insulate, yes. But as you may have learned in Investing 201, some vests are for aesthetic purposes, like this one. Or some vests are for saving lives, like the flotation vest or the safety vest. All these vests have different purposes. So it would be kind of limiting to think of a vest as something purely for insulation. And so, what if a money vest, if a vest is purely made of cash, right? It could serve multiple purposes. In the heat, it could be a cool vest. It could literally be there to cool you off. Remember, cash is oftentimes made of linen, at least in America it is. It's partially made of linen. This is so when you wash it, it doesn't get all soggy and rip. And so the money vest is actually practical in that it's machine wash friendly. It's machine washable. Uh, machine wash cold and tumble dry on low heat. So that's, that's one purpose, is that it could be used to cool you off. The other purpose is that you're showing off how much money you have. You have so much money that you wear your money. You can't be bothered to go to a store and buy an actual vest. No, you're in a custom order of vest made purely of the leftover money that you have. Now, the intensity of how much money you have, how much you're showing off is going to be based off of what bills the money is made of. You can do dollar bills and it's okay. It's going to be probably your standard. Uh, $5 bills, we're stepping it up a bit. $10 bills, all right, we get it. But if you really want to just really hand it to people, $100 bills. Make a coat just made of Benjamins. Um, that's, that's really where you're going to impress people. So that's two purposes for a money vest. Uh, the third purpose, um, just to express yourself. That's all I'm going to say there, because you find your own reason for expressing yourself by making a vest made of money. That's on you, not me. So that's three purposes right there. Uh, if you take the follow-up class, Investing 302, 
will delve into different purposes and specializations of different types of money vests. Uh, we're talking Canadian money. We're talking American money. Uh, we're talking uh, Indian money. That's a big one. Remember, Canadian money is waterproof. So you're looking at now a different type of vest entirely. So it def it depends on what kind of money you're making the vest from. But as you can see, there's a lot of nuance in the, in the subject. Um, but yeah, to bring it back to my original topic, uh, the market is low right now, so you might want to buy stocks. Buy stocks, invest companies. Invest invests. I'm pretty happy with the way I'm ending this video. All right, you guys. Uh, go out there and uh, do your thing. I'm going to try to end this video again. Let's see if I can do it. Shit, I didn't do it.